Have you ever wondered how Vietnam, a country with a rich cultural tapestry, celebrates its festivals? Well, you're in for a treat. Vietnam is a country that thrives on festivities, each one a vibrant splash of color, a symphony of sounds, and a medley of flavors. These festivals, deeply rooted in the country's history and traditions, offer a window into Vietnam's soul. From the grandeur of Lunar New Year, or Tet, to the spiritual reverence of the Ghost Festival, every event tells a story. Each celebration is an intricate dance between the past and the present, a mesmerizing blend of age-old customs and contemporary interpretations. These festivals not only mark the passing of seasons, but also celebrate life, community, and the enduring spirit of the Vietnamese people. So buckle up, prepare your senses for a feast, and let's embark on a journey through the festive calendar of Vietnam, starting with the most significant of them all, Tet. As the Lunar New Year approaches, Vietnam bursts into a riot of color and festivity. This energetic transformation marks the beginning of Tet, the country's most significant festival. An event steeped in centuries-old traditions and rituals, Tet is the embodiment of Vietnam's cultural richness and communal spirit. At the heart of Tet are family reunions, a cherished tradition that sees people journeying across the country, and sometimes from overseas, to be with their loved ones. This annual migration is a testament to the strong family ties that form the bedrock of Vietnamese society. Families gather around the dinner table, partaking in a feast of traditional dishes that include ban chung, a square-shaped sticky rice cake, and mutt, an assortment of candied fruits. Tet is also a time of renewal. Homes are cleaned and decorated to welcome the new year. Bright red and gold decorations adorn the streets, with the vibrant colors symbolizing luck and prosperity. The air is filled with the scent of blooming hua mai and hua dao, the yellow apricot blossom and peach blossom respectively, which are iconic symbols of Tet. Then, as the clock strikes midnight, dazzling fireworks light up the sky, casting a mesmerizing glow over the cities and villages of Vietnam. This spectacle is the climax of the Tet celebrations, a moment of shared joy and anticipation for the new year. But Tet is more than just a celebration. It's a time to honor ancestors, to pay respect to traditions, and to express hope for the future. It's a time to reflect on the past year and to make wishes for the year ahead. It's a time when the spirit of community and togetherness is palpable, when the country comes together in a shared sense of celebration and renewal. With the end of Tet, we usher in spring and the Lim Festival. But the memories of Tet linger on, a reminder of the enduring traditions and rich cultural heritage that make Vietnam such a captivating country. As spring arrives, the Lim Festival in Bie Si Ninh province fills the air with melodious Quan Ho folk songs. The Lim Festival, held every year on the 13th day of the first lunar month, is a celebration of love, beauty, and community spirit. It's a festival that truly encapsulates the vibrant soul of Vietnam. This festival is renowned for its tradition of Quan Ho singing, a unique form of folk music that originated in the Red River Delta. This UNESCO-recognized tradition involves men and women singing duets, their voices harmonizing beautifully. These songs are not just melodies, they carry the stories, traditions, and cultural values of the Vietnamese people. The festival's centerpiece is the Dragon Boats, these ornate vessels glide across the calm waters, carrying singers who serenade the crowd with Quan Ho songs. It's a captivating scene that mirrors the cultural richness of Vietnam. Lim Festival is also marked by other cultural activities, including weaving competitions, traditional games, and performances of Lu singing, another form of folk music. These activities, steeped in tradition, offer a glimpse into the daily lives of the Vietnamese people in the past. The Lim Festival is not just a celebration of music and culture, it's a celebration of community spirit, of unity, and of the enduring traditions that make Vietnam so unique. It's a festival that beautifully blends the old with the new, the traditional with the contemporary, creating a harmonious symphony that truly represents the soul of Vietnam. From the joyful tunes of the Lim Festival, we travel to the historical city of Hue. The city of Hue, once an imperial capital, comes alive during the annual Hue Festival. This vibrant celebration is a vivid spectacle that takes you back to an era of imperial grandeur. The festival is a masterful blend of the traditional and the contemporary, creating an atmosphere that is uniquely Hue. At the heart of this festival are the captivating performances, each one a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage. The city buzzes with the rhythm of traditional music and dance, with performances that range from court music, known as na nak, 
to the dramatic folk dance of the lion or unicorn. These performances are not merely for entertainment, they are an expression of the soul of Hugh, a tribute to its past, and a celebration of its vibrant present. But the Hugh Festival is not just about music and dance, it's also a stage for the city's artisans to showcase their skills. The Hugh Craft Village Festival, a part of the larger Hugh Festival, is a testament to this. Here, you can witness the creation of some of Vietnam's most treasured crafts, from the delicate embroidery of silk to the intricate carving of wood. These artisans, with their skilled hands and dedicated hearts, are the bearers of a tradition that has been passed down through generations. The festival is also a culinary delight. The city's renowned cuisine, with its unique blend of flavors, is celebrated in a grand fashion, from the delectable imperial cuisine that was once served to emperors, to the humble yet flavorful street food, there's a dish to satiate every palate. As the city comes alive with the festival's vibrant colors, rhythmic music, and tantalizing flavors, you can't help but be swept away by its charm. It's a captivating experience that leaves you with a profound appreciation for the city's rich cultural heritage. From the grandeur of Hue, we journey to pay homage to Vietnam's ancestors at the Hung King's Temple Festival. The Hung King's Temple Festival is a testament to Vietnam's storied history and cultural heritage. In the verdant hills of Pu Tho province, this revered event takes place, a tribute to the Hung Kings, the legendary founders of Vietnam. Every year, on the 10th day of the third lunar month, a wave of solemnity and reverence sweeps across the region. The festival is a grand combination of religious rituals and cultural activities, reflecting the deep respect and gratitude of the Vietnamese people towards their ancestors. At the heart of the festival is a procession, where local communities carry beautifully decorated palanquins up to the Hung King's temple. This journey is a symbol of the Vietnamese people's spiritual return to their roots. The procession is accompanied by traditional music and drum beats, creating a harmonious symphony that resonates with the heartbeat of the nation. Once at the temple, offerings of incense, flowers, and traditional foods are made, a vivid display of Vietnam's culinary heritage. Prayers are whispered, and blessings are sought, echoing the timeless bond between the past and the present. Cultural performances and games add a vibrant layer to the solemn proceedings, reflecting the jovial spirit of the Vietnamese people. Dragon dances, folk songs, and traditional wrestling matches weave a captivating tapestry of entertainment and tradition. From the revered Hung King's Temple, we travel to the Mai Chau Valley for the Zen Tso Phon Festival. In the stunning Mai Chau Valley, the Zen Tso Phon Festival brings together spirituality and vibrant festivities. A fascinating blend of tradition and celebration, this festival reflects the ancient beliefs and practices of the valley's inhabitants. The Zen Tso Phon Festival is a ceremonial experience that's deeply rooted in the community's spiritual connection with nature. Central to the festival are rituals to summon rain, a practice that harkens back to the region's agrarian roots. As the people of Mai Chau Valley rely heavily on the land for their livelihood, these ceremonies hold a profound significance, symbolizing their respect and gratitude towards the natural world. The festival is more than just a spiritual observance. It's a vibrant celebration marked by colorful traditional costumes, rhythmic music, and enthusiastic dancing. The festivities serve as a platform for the community to express their cultural identity, while also fostering a sense of unity and camaraderie among the participants. In a world that's increasingly disconnected from nature, the Zen Exo Fawn Festival serves as a reminder of the deep-rooted bond between humanity and the environment. It's an event that encapsulates the essence of Vietnam's cultural heritage, where tradition, spirituality, and celebration intertwine in a captivating spectacle. As we bid farewell to the lively atmosphere and spiritual reverence of the Zen So Phon Festival, we carry with us a deeper understanding of the rich cultural tapestry that defines Vietnam. Leaving the Mai Chau Valley, we head towards a solemn observance, the Ghost Festival. The Ghost Festival offers a profound glimpse into how Vietnamese families honor their ancestors. This solemn event, known as Wandering Souls Day, is steeped in spiritual reverence, painting a poignant picture of Vietnam's deep-rooted ancestral worship. On this day, families come together to perform rituals that demonstrate their respect for departed loved ones. They prepare lavish meals not for themselves, but as offerings for the spirits of their ancestors. These meals are meticulously arranged on the family altar, a silent invitation for the spirits to return home and partake in the feast. But the Ghost Festival is not merely a day of remembrance, it's also a day of reconciliation. 
It's a time when the living seeks forgiveness from the spirits, mending bonds that might have been strained in life. In the heart of this festival, one finds the quintessence of Vietnamese culture, the belief in the enduring bond between the living and the departed, a bond that death cannot sever. As dusk falls, families gather at local pagodas, their hands gently clutching incense sticks. The air is filled with the sweet scent of burning incense, a fragrant message to the spirits that their kin remember and honor them. The Ghost Festival, in its quiet solemnity, encapsulates the Vietnamese people's deep respect for their ancestors, a respect that transcends the barriers of life and death. From the serene pagodas, we move towards the patriotic fervor of Vietnam's Independence Day. Vietnam's Independence Day is a vibrant display of the nation's spirit of freedom. This landmark day in Vietnam's history is marked by a nationwide outpouring of joy and patriotism. Streets come alive with the colors of the national flag as locals and visitors alike join in the festivities. Across the country, parades showcase the diverse cultures that make up this dynamic nation. From the traditional music and dance performances of the Kin majority to the vibrant costumes of the Khmer and Hmong ethnic minorities, each parade is a testament to Vietnam's cultural richness and unity and diversity. In the capital city of Hanoi, the grandeur of the celebrations reaches a crescendo. The city's historic landmarks, like the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum and the Imperial Citadel, serve as backdrops to these jubilant processions. The sounds of laughter and lively chatter fill the air as Vietnamese citizens celebrate their hard-earned freedom. As the sun sets, the sky lights up with spectacular fireworks, painting a breathtaking canvas of colors. These illuminations are not just a feast for the eyes, but also a symbol of the Vietnamese spirit, resilient, vibrant, and free. Independence Day in Vietnam is more than a public holiday. It's a heartfelt celebration of the country's journey, its struggles, and its triumphs. It's a day that resonates with the spirit of freedom, echoing Vietnam's proud past and its bright future. As the Independence Day celebrations conclude, we look forward to the enchanting Mid-Autumn Festival. The Mid-Autumn Festival casts a magical spell over Vietnam, especially in Hoi An's ancient town. As the twilight fades, the country comes alive with a thousand twinkling lights, each one a beacon of joy and togetherness. This enchanting festival, held on the 15th day of the eighth lunar month, is a celebration of the full moon, symbolizing unity and harmony. Traditionally, the Mid-Autumn Festival is a time for families to come together, to share mooncakes and stories under the glow of the full moon. These mooncakes, filled with lotus seed paste and a salted egg yolk, are a treat not to be missed. Their round shape echoing the fullness of the moon and the completeness of the family circle. But it's the children who truly light up the night. Their faces glow with excitement as they parade through the streets, lanterns in hand. These lanterns, often homemade, come in a myriad of shapes and colors, each one a glowing testament to the magic of the festival. The air is filled with laughter and the soft rustle of silk lanterns swaying in the breeze. Music and folk tales blend with the hum of the crowd, creating a symphony of sounds that resonate well into the night. It's a time of joy, a time of unity, and a time of celebration. From the magical Mid-Autumn Festival, we journey to the Mekong Delta for the Oak Om Bok Festival. The Oak Om Bok Festival in the Mekong Delta is a vibrant display of the Khmer people's customs and rituals. This annual festival is one of the most important and anticipated events for the Khmer community in Vietnam. It's a time when the cultural diversity of the region truly shines through, with a rich tapestry of customs and traditions on full display. The festival centers around the worship of the moon goddess, with the belief that she will bless the community with good weather and abundant harvests in the coming year. The reverence for the moon goddess is expressed through various rituals, such as cooking a special kind of rice cake, known as bonzio, and releasing beautifully lit lanterns onto the river. But it's not all solemn rituals. Oak Ombok also features a host of lively activities that add to its vibrancy. Traditional Khmer music and dance performances fill the air with a festive mood, while boat races on the Mekong River add a thrilling layer of competition. One of the highlights is the GHE Ngo, or Khmer Boat Race. Teams of rowers in colorful traditional attire race their long snake-shaped boats in a spirited competition. The sight of these boats slicing through the waters of the Mekong is a spectacle not to be missed. As the Oak Om Bok Festival ends, we get ready to bid farewell to the old year and welcome the new on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve in Vietnam is a time of joyous celebrations where anticipation for the new year fills the air. 
As the final moments of the year draw to a close, cities and towns across the country come alive with a festive cheer that's contagious. The air is thick with excitement and the spirit of renewal, echoing the vibrant rhythm of Vietnam. From the bustling streets of Hanoi to the tranquil landscapes of the Mekong Delta, the night sky is set ablaze with fireworks, painting the Vietnamese skyline with a riot of colors. Laughter and merry chatter rise above the cacophony as locals and visitors alike bid farewell to the old year and welcome the new with open hearts and bright hopes. It's a time for reflection, for gratitude, and for setting new goals. It's a time to celebrate life, love, and the promise of fresh beginnings. As the fireworks fade, we conclude our journey through Vietnam's vibrant festivals. Our journey through Vietnam's festivals offers a glimpse into the traditions, rituals, and celebrations that define its rich cultural heritage. We've journeyed from the jubilant atmosphere of Tet, welcoming a new year with open arms and festive cheer, to the serene reverence of the Ghost Festival, where families honor their ancestors in atmospheric pagodas across the nation. We've celebrated the arrival of spring at the Lim Festival and stepped into the historical splendor of Hue during its annual gathering. We've paid homage to Vietnam's legendary ancestors at the Hung King's Temple Festival and experienced the spiritual connection of rain summoning at the Zen Xophon Festival. We've joined in the patriotic fervor of Vietnam's Independence Day delighted in the enchanting traditions of the Mid-Autumn Festival and experienced the cultural diversity of the Oakham Bach Festival. And finally, we've bid farewell to the old year and welcome the new with joyous celebrations. Whether it's the grandeur of Tet or the spiritual reverence of the Ghost Festival, each event offers a unique insight into the soul of this captivating country.